Well, back guys to part three of the F1 Manager 2023 campaign. Last time out, disaster struck, man. Absolute disaster struck. We crashed out. Both cars run out of fuel, and that was us. Bad to the bone, damn, damn. Really, man, it was an absolute catastrophe. But we are going to go with plan C for Perez and plan B for Max Verstappen. This should be interesting. I mean, starting this low down. It really should have been a lot better than this. But here we go. I mean, it's a mixed up grid. Can we get it back to a 1 2 position? To me, there should be no excuse when you see the pace of the Red Bull in real life. But this is the F1 manager game. And here we go. Max Verstappen heading towards turn one. We've got Sergio Perez. End of turn one. Here we go. It's the Ferraris and Fernando Alonso. Then we've got the Hasses. What could Red Bull do? We're still P14. We're still P15 as Max Verstappen is making his moves through the field as Leclerc leads. Signs in second, then we've got Alonso, Magnussen, Hulkenberg, Stroll, Hamilton, Auckland, Russell, Albon, Gasly, Bottas, Juan Ujo, Max Verstappen, and then we have got the Red Bull of Sergio Perez here looking for a manoeuvre pass. But then we've got Yuki Tsunoda, Lando Norris, Logan Sargent, Oscar Piastri, and Nick De Vries. But I mean, yeah, I mean, we're already the leader, man. We're sick, we're sick, I mean, we're come on. No good enough for starting. I dead on you. This needs to get deployed. And for starting, needs to put the foot down. Okay. I mean, hold up. Wait, for starting. For starting's no getting past. We we are just stuck. In an absolute train as the top three pull away and we've just got two hasses doing what they want oh my god man absolute disaster for Red Bull I mean what can we do from Max Verstappen's point of view I mean DRS is going to open at the end of this lap and yes Max Verstappen has passed Guan let's see that let's see this overtake for Max Verstappen around the outside that needed that need it to happen I need it to happen. Come on, now he's in behind Filtery Bottas with DRS open. There we go, Max Verstappen. No, actually, I'm going to put Perez back from the neutral and I'm going to put him relatively early and put the slap hards on him. Maybe that can be the way that he can get it done. As Perez finally finds a way past Juan Ujo. Look at the gap we've got to the leaders, man. It's not even funny. It's Hamilton's battling with Stroll, Hockenberg and Magnus and battling with the same bit of Tarmac Alonso sitting behind both Ferraris. I mean, this is, a, this is an absolute disaster here. Cannot spin it any other way. You know what? We are going to call in Sergio Perez at the end of this lap. Confirm. Not ideal, but... None of this race is really ideal, if we're being honest. DHL, top 10 fastest pit stops, it was. Huh. Put it in deploy and push. I mean, technically, we can go to the end. Let's see, if apparently Albon's had half a spin. His first Dappens overtook Peanut against Lee. Perez isn't really catching the leaders, and that's kind of what I, I was banking on, to be honest, but he's no doing it. He's 40, I mean... Is the hard tyre just no a tyre to be on? Because if it's not, I mean, what are we doing here? Racing our ping pong? Sergio, yes, overtakes Alexander Albon, moving his way up, and I think already the win. Like, how are we 43 seconds behind? Like, 
We need a see. Look at look at the gap. The top guys have got. Leclerc, Alonso, and Sainz. I mean, Alonso's a wee bit behind them, but Jesus, man. It's just not good enough as Max is trying to find his way around George Russell. I'm going to put that up to deploy. It's just not happening. Oscar Piastri's pit at Albon's had a lot a, a lock up. Now Max for starting to pass Russell and Ocon, but it looks like Ferrari are, are, are comfortably gonna win this race. Strolls now pass both Hasses. Hasses, I mean, their tyre wears off, and for some reason, the Mercedes are kind of for starting. Still can't find a way through, but we are going to find a way through for starting. He's going to blast past these two nuggets as Ferrari pit and committing third. I mean, that's that's fucking that's scary. A Ferrari are there now. As for starting, pass both Hasses. Now he's got one stroll ahead of him. Okay. The signs pits he's gonna come out right now for starting. Maybe we can try a one stopper. But look at everybody else. Can Perez get past the freeze? He's gonna have to go for it, big Sergio. 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 Who's Pettit? So Russell's Pettit, Stroll and Magnussen's Pettit. So Perez has beat them out. If we can get Perez to the end, I mean, that would be quite good, wouldn't it? It would be. Fastest lap there from Fernando Alonso. Is, uh, for that, it's got a healthy gap with the guys behind and in front, so we're just going to keep Fernando Alonso. His Perez is just stuck in the mid pack, praying for something to happen. Um, we're going to ignore that. I'm going to push a wee bit more. Pick up the pace. Pick up the pace. Okay. Hamilton's going to overtake Perez, isn't he? Yep, Hamilton has overtook big Sergio Perez. Perez, we're going to have to. Perez going to have to pit again. I just don't see how he's not going to have to pit again. So that's what Lambiasi looks like. That's what Lambiasi looks like. <laughs> Hamilton stuck behind, Nico Hottenberg, Stroll's got the fastest lap, he's stuck behind Alcon, Alonso's hunting down, Max Verstappen, who's decided to stay out here, Max Verstappen, I think that early pit stop for Perez has kind of hampered his race, if we're being honest, I think once Alonso gets past Verstappen, that is when I am going to box him, and Alonso, I mean, he's all over him. Fernando Alonso looking for a way past Max Verstappen. Sergio Perez has lost it to George Russell. Will Perez come out? Is the question. What a pet. Can't put him onto them. happened. 
lock up. Guanaju uh, Joe's locked up. P16 here. That's who Sergio Perez is battling this Grand Prix. Massive lock up. Yeah, he just went straight on. Into the dirt. As Guanaju went. Sergio. Perez gonna come out. Yes, yeah, Perez is coming in free air. Perez in the deploy. No, we'll lay it, we'll lay off that man. His tires won't fucking last much longer if we just push them like that. Start making hayway into the Ferrari's gap here. Max Verstappen was doing a good job putting back down the ballast. Perez almost at the points, but Lando Norris behind. Yeah, it could turn into a decent race enough for Red Bull here, but I mean, can't believe t well, just all those botches, man. It's just no help. This. But our battle is with Fernando Alonso, I'd say, for that final podium position. Unless there's a safety car, and then maybe we can get dragged into a fight for the lead. But I doubt that. There's Fernando Alonso Pets, and we've beat him out. We've beat Fernando Alonso. What, what tires he on? Mediums. We're going hard to the end. Um, Perez, though, is in his own battle here with fucking Magnussen and Shinoda. Perez, son, you just shouldn't be here. What is going on here with Perez and Magnussen? Perez is weaving left and right trying to get his man. Claire is pit it and he's came out. I mean, for Stam's not too far behind, if we're being honest. I mean, I believe Carlos Sainz is going to pit no, Sainz is staying out. Alonso, though, is just not catching Max Verstappen, so that's worked wonders. As Sergio Perez is now beginning to lay in to Lewis Hamilton. Now, now Carlos Sainz pits. And, uh, who knows? So. Fans a wee bit. I mean, it looks like it's going to be third and seventh here, unless anything mental happens. Haas, I mean, disappointing for them. Really disappointing for them. I mean, but Sergio Perez not really up too much in this Grand Prix, is he? Let's be honest. Ten laps to go. Nothing happening. As that has just been. Smashed as Alonso is beginning to catch Max for starting a bit. We're gonna put, gonna put him up to that. Boom. Push. Get Perez a bit of a gap. Can we get Perez out to the fastest lap point? Probably not. He's again about 20 seconds on Russell and Ocon. I just don't see that happening. Whoa. Fucking hell, Fernando. Fernando has blasted past our main man. Come on, Max. I'm fucking deploying. We're just getting nothing done in the straight. Is Sergio. I'll tell you what, we're probably going to put Sergio on the conserve here. No point going overkill at the minute. Come on, Max. Final podium position. And surely. We're starting to just put it in the inside. If he late breaks it. He doesn't let break it. It looks like Fernando Alonso is returned to the podium. Could be set here. Max just can't get anywhere near. I mean, tyres are about the same. I mean, the Ferrari tyres are pretty deep, but they're on soft, so that's the problem. 
as Alonso is been overtaken by for snap again. So we are just pushing. Can we get a DRS? That is the crucial thing. Sergio Perez, no fastest lap today. We'll just put him back to balanced. Copy, copy. Fia. What's happened here? Safety car deployed. And here we've got a yellow flag. Crash and fall. Oh no, Kevin Magnussen and Pierre Gasly have came together here. Safety car is going to end the last bit of this race. As oh the. Oh, for fuck's sake is right, man. On the racing line, and I don't actually think any of them were in points, but they were right behind Kevin, uh, no, Nico Hultenberg, who was in points, and that's brought out the safety car, and this race is going to finish under the safety car. It's a shame it didn't happen, you know, before, but it didn't. And, um... We've, looks like for starting, I was going to get that. As Charles Leclerc isn't on his last lap yet, and we're not going to get back underway, so it is a wee bit disappointing. We're on to the last lap, and um, yeah, <laughs> but, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, disaster. Looks like Leclerc's going to win and get the fastest lap point. Uh, Nico Hulkenberg, though, he's going to get a point for Haas. I mean, probably a bit disappointing considering their qualifying position and. The other guy's been wiped clean out. But. Safety car is ending. I'm just going to make sure to put up to neutral and do that. Cross the line as it looks like it's going to be. To the line here. And that is it. That is your whack. Is Leclerc wins for signs for starting Alonso. Hamilton's going to finish fifth. Then it's going to be Lance Stroll. Then it's going to be Sergio Perez coming across the line. I mean, I think it's a wee bit impressive that Perez has finished, you know, P7 ahead of a lot of people who were like, you know. But the one stop was definitely the way to go today. With we nailed it with for starting with Perez. We. You had to split the strategies at the end of the day, and that's what we've done. But Russell, Piet, Altenburg is going to get a point. All coin is going to finish ninth. And all in all, a bit of a disaster considering the pace of the car, but you know, oh, we got an achievement point venture. Ho ho! Across the line. Who knows what's going on here? We're starting though. He's happy. But as we podium. As Ferrari. Our loving life here. One, two and three, baby. And we've the yep, and as you can see in the drivers, Leclerc leads. But mental like that he's managed to do this and the sprints are in it, because I can see sprints over there, but Perez, man, it's just a fucking disaster already. We are second in the constructors, but we should be winning it. But those are the fastest pit stop it was. Ferrari. So they, they're winning that. They're actually, that's a, there's a point system for that. Damn. But, uh, aye, as you can see, guys, that is it for this race. Not exactly spectacular, but we'll take it. So until next time, peace.